Okay guys, I have already taken the time to unbolt the screws or loosen the screws. So I'll place that over there. So as you look here on the outside, these you will cut off and that's where you're gonna put the wires at and the wire inlets. Okay guys, time to unbox this and see what we have here. So, it looks like this is an interface box. So the guy I spoke with on the phone, his name was Ryan over at Marine Technical Services. He said he was going to put his card in the, in the box up immediately within five minutes and they were definitely a pleasant to work with uh so he said he was going to add something extra in there so this is an interface uh for the i don't know for the bus thing that's what it says so i have to look into this and see actually what it says so let's see what we got in the box here so we know we had the interface the interface came with the box and Looks like they package this thing up pretty well. They put this on the sides, little tissue on the sides, which is great because I was kind of worried about this. I mean, you spend quite a bit of money on this. I paid for this out of my pocket. I didn't, Victron didn't sponsor me. None of these companies sponsor me. Wow. So it does have some wiring, some bolts, and I believe that's the instruction manual. And there's some kind of hard plate in there as well. Uh, this is this is pretty heavy. It's actually 50 pounds. Um, not it's not 50 pounds. It's I believe 48. So close enough for me to 50 to say 50. This is a mammoth, and this doesn't feel like a cheap Chinese piece of equipment. This is very heavy, and before I even get it out of the plastic, this feels like a quality piece of quality piece of material. I mean, machine. I don't know what it is it feels great it feels nice and heavy compared to the other two power inverters that i have these are this is definitely oh my lord this is definitely a great piece of machine oh my goodness and it's heavy try to get some of this stuff off of here and okay guys right about here is when i lost my mic so i guess i really got to get down to the nitty gritty and kind of show you guys this thing i mean it is really a heavy piece of equipment but it's really nice and solid i would definitely look into one of these if i were you guys i am gonna put my amazon affiliate link in the description so if you guys want, you guys could definitely order one. It would help me out, help out the channel. Uh, we do get something uh, as an Amazon affiliate when you guys order something off of that channel, off of the page. Anyway, so let's look here. This is the Multi Plus 2, the 3,000 watt amps, uh, 120 volt. So as you look here, you see the this is what comes in the box when you get it. You got your instructions, you got your wiring, you got your uh, bus plug-in. So when you come here to the back, you see here you have your plug-ins. This grommet here, you actually take that off, you cut it, and it will fit your size wire to whatever size you want. Typically, you're going to use zero gauge or 
I don't know, one odd or some crazy wiring size. You got to look into that yourself and see what size wire you need. I'm not telling you what size to get or put, but I'm just showing you this device here. So if you look at the back, you see all of these holes. There are four holes, four grommets. So you're going to have a uh, your different plugs for your uh, AC in, your AC out, and your 12 volt. So as you can see here, we have our, our inlets to put our lines in. And when you look inside, you can see the bolt downs to bolt those lines down, those wires when you put them in. And when you look here, you see our AC in for your shore power or whatever generator, however you're bringing it in. And here's your AC out number two and your AC out number one. I believe the number two is more for advanced users, but if you're a you know basic new user, that's probably what you're gonna be using. That's what I'm where I'm gonna be going with right here. And then you have your over here you have your VE bus uh, and then your second VE bus. So that's what you're gonna use to hook up your, that's what you're gonna use to hook up your Servo GX or any other devices that you have that would communicate with any of the other Victron systems. So here are some other auxiliary ports and other things here. And when you look, it, it tells you all the specs inside of here. So this is a very nice piece of equipment. So I don't know too much more to say about it. And I will get this thing hooked up and I will let you guys know how it is. Sorry, that's this way. All right, folks, yeah, so this is, this is it, this is, okay, guys, I have already taken the time to unbolt the screws or loosen the screws, so I'll place that over there, so as you look here on the outside, these you will cut off, and that's where you're going to put the wires at, and the wire inlets, so as you can see inside of here, you have your bolt downs to bolt down your wires. You have three of them. Hmm. Where's it four? Three. There's three. One, two, and three. Okay, and then you have a place to, to ground. I believe that's your earth ground. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check on that one. So to the right there, you have your AC in for your shore power or your generator. Then uh, you, you have your AC, your AC2. That is for more advanced users. And then the AC1, which is what I'm gonna be using. And right here, your VE bus for communication, which would go for a Servo GX or a Smart Shunt or something like that, I believe. I have to look more into it. And then you have your other uh, ports for other things, other smart things. and stuff that I'm not quite into yet that I'm gonna have to read up more on. So here you have your positive and your negative terminals. They're pretty, pretty thick. I don't know if you can see how thick that metal is right here, but it is, it is thick. This is not a cheap inverter for the price you pay. This is a very, very good piece of equipment. So when you look out here, you do see that there is an on and off switch and you, you can see the inside right there. So you do have very thick piece of equipment. This is very heavy at 48 pounds, very thick piece of equipment. So I've done a lot of research on this before I purchased this. So this is it guys if you like this kind of stuff if this kind of you want to see more of this if you want to see this thing hooked up please like and subscribe please come check out the next video i'm gonna be hooking this thing up this is just the unboxing right now me showing this how it is once once it is hooked up i will show you guys 
and show you how it's operating. Okay guys, so this is five months later as I started this uh, unboxing video in September. So this is the dinette set right here and this is my bench. And I decided to put the power inverter up under here so it could be separated from the couch, which holds the batteries, the solar and uh, charge controller, and a, a few other things. So I did have some things under here. I had some, uh, I keep the extra extension cords under here, and I don't have enough uh, outlets yet in here, so I'm going to put more outlets. So this is where I decided to put the power inverter, guys. And it's it, it it's great here. It's great. It's it's got its own its own cabinet, and it works perfectly. And I'm able to keep the um, our extension cords under here. And we actually have our fuse box down here, and we keep the dog's bowl right there too. So yeah, this is where the power lies right here. So we are completely off grid, 100% off grid. I want to make more videos and show you guys how I'm completely off grid, how I'm living, um, if that's what you guys want to see. But I definitely love to show you guys. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, seeing what I have here and what I what I bought. And um, and it, I, I'll show you guys more of this Victron system that I'm building. Uh, and I'm not sponsored. By the way, I am not sponsored, but I am uh, going to put an Amazon affiliate link down below so you guys can see where to buy it and you guys can go get your own. So thanks a lot, guys. Please like and subscribe, comment, do whatever you can. I, it really helps the channel out and I can get more of this footage out so more people can see this stuff. Thanks a lot, guys.